I saw Gervonta Davis might not have celebrated Christmas with everybody else, as he has been busy going through the process of converting to Islam. He and a couple of his friends have now converted to Islam, and have even chosen Muslim names. Gervonta reportedly chose the name Abdul Wahid which means servant of the one. Let's check it out. Okay, say after me, right? Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. I testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Listen, Alhamdulillah, we have our brother here, Devante. May Allah is your preserve him and bless him, as many of you know, that he embraced Islam, Alhamdulillah, and he's a Muslim. And I just wanted to talk about something that's very important and beneficial. The attribute that he chose, the name that he chose as a Muslim is Abdul Wahid, and it means the servant of the one from the names of Allah, the names of God is Al Wahid, the one. And that's a beautiful name. He is one. God is one. And that's the beauty of Islam. We believe in one God. We worship one God. The Lord of all of the prophets and the messengers. The Lord of Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, every prophet. The Lord of all of the creation. The Lord of the heavens and the earth. And we worship him alone. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah. The one. He is one. Islam. It teaches us to be the best version of who we are, to try and complete ourselves, because as Muslims, we want to complete ourselves. But also, we have to help those who are around us. And mashallah, the brother, he invested in the area that he's from. We see that that's something that we're trying to do also in Philadelphia. Why? To help others that are around us. Even you, as the youth of the community, you will have a role. You guys in the future of tomorrow. You guys are going to be the teachers. You're going to be the leaders of tomorrow. You're going to be, whether it's in sports, whatever you choose in life, you're going to be the future of tomorrow. But in order to be the leaders that you can be, you have to be prepared for it. Islam blesses us. Islam allows us to do that. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing. Hit the like button and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.